Yo, 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 yo. Okay, let's do this. My name is Chris Salise, and I am from Queens, New York. The first battle that I ever attended was the 2010 American Beatbox Championships, which was the first ever one. It was also the first human beatbox uh, festival, which happening, which happened in New York City at Littlefield in Brooklyn. Uh, in 2015 and 2016, Gene Shinazaki and I, aka Spider Horse, won uh, American uh, Beatbox uh, Battle Champion. Uh, we won the first place for both of those battles. Um, and then in 2018, we won the Grand Beatbox Battle as a tag team, uh, which was a huge honor. Uh, Gene and I will be competing in tag team, and I'll also be competing in the team battles with the Beatbox House. Uh, my favorite beatbox moment. Oh, my God. I think... Um, God, there's so many. I think probably the first time I ever heard Jim do Jigsaw, because that was the first one. There was me and Amit, and that's how I knew uh, he's gonna win Grand Beatbox in 2015. Oh, that or watching Reeves won the 2014 American Beatbox Championships for the first time. It was like my life has changed, which is super dope. My most challenging moment in a battle. Um. In 2015, when I was battling Napalm, and I saw that I was messing up my routines, and it wasn't uh, both of my rounds weren't weren't very strong because I was more concerned with uh, how I was presenting myself physically on stage, and I was nervous with the crowd, and I wasn't really thinking about making music. I was more concerned about impressing people. And I just couldn't pull it together for that whole time. So uh, what I learned from that is preparation, for sure. Preparation, preparation. Three practicing tips for beatboxers. Number one, practice your time. Your time and your flow is the most important, important, important thing when it comes to beatboxing. If people can't feel your beats, then it doesn't matter how cool or how technical or how like stylized your beatboxing is it won't come across as something that feels good number two listen to music that you enjoy and put that into your music and number three be yourself Just don't copy anybody or learn all the techniques that you need in order to beatbox i would say for sure copy people that you really admire but then flip those techniques and make them your own what do you think it takes to become a world champion? Focus, uh, work. Genius is about work and sticking to your guns with the things that you planned. That and trusting your ability to be become a world champ. Any last ideas you think you're important to share with our community? Um, battling is great in order to take your skills to the next level and showcase them in a competitive arena. It's important for community building. So if you're really serious about the battle game, get remember that you're going you're making a choice to go compete against somebody else. And if you're about that life, kudos to you. That's really dope. And uh, remember you're going into a fight. You're going there to fight. Kick the other person's ass. Just, and you do that by being the best version of yourself. Be the best version of yourself, and you will kick the most ass. Because everybody is always rooting for you. And always remember that. Okay, dope. Um, that's it.